Starting a business is exciting, whether you are launching a pharmaceutical product, a food supplement, or a cosmetic line. But amidst all the energy and ambition, one crucial element often gets overlooked, good manufacturing practices, or GMP. For startups and small businesses, GMP isn't just about regulatory compliance, it's about survival, trust, and growth. In this video, I'll guide you through the essentials of GMP, what it is, why it matters, and most importantly, how you can implement it effectively, even with limited resources. Welcome to Pharma Health Insights. I'm Rajesh, with over 28 years of experience helping businesses like yours establish strong quality systems. If you're building your brand from the ground up, this is the video you don't want to miss. Let's first talk about why GMP isn't just important, it's critical for startups. GMP helps you avoid costly product recalls and reputational damage, one mistake, one skipped hygiene check, one wrong label, one contaminated product, and it could cost you everything. Imagine launching a new product and it gets recalled due to a bacterial contamination or mislabeling. Not only do you lose money, but customers lose faith. And in today's digital age, bad news travels fast. Let's take a look at a real-life example. In 2019, a small nutraceutical startup in India had to pull its entire batch from the market after mold was found in just a few bottles. The damage, 12 lakh rupees in losses, and irreparable harm to their brand reputation. GMP helps you build consumer trust and confidence. Today's consumers are smarter. They read labels, research brands, and care about quality. By demonstrating GMP compliance, you signal to customers that you care about their safety. This builds loyalty and repeat business. Customers may not see your factory, but they'll feel your quality in every product they use. GMP helps you gain a competitive edge. In saturated markets like pharma and food, compliance sets you apart. When you follow GMP, distributors, retail chains, and even investors take you more seriously. It becomes a selling point, not just a checkbox. Here's a personal case example for you. A cosmetic company I worked with won a major export deal simply because they had documented proof of GMP compliance, even though they weren't certified yet. GMP equals building quality into every step. Now, what is GMP? GMP stands for Good Manufacturing Practices, a system of procedures and practices that ensure the products you manufacture are safe, consistent, and of high quality. It's not just about quality control at the end, it's about embedding quality at every stage of manufacturing. Let's break down the major areas GMP covers, it covers manufacturing practices which include, standardized processes, SOPs, batch manufacturing records, proper handling and use of raw materials. GMP covers facility and equipment management which includes, well-maintained premises, pest control, segregated areas for raw, in-process, and finished goods. GMP also covers the personal hygiene including clean clothing, regular hand washing, medical fitness, and avoiding habits like smoking or eating in production areas. Now let's talk about documentation and record keeping, another important aspect of GMP. Remember, if it's not documented, it didn't happen. Always maintain a complete record of all logs, calibration records, and cleaning schedules as per the SOPs. Think of GMP as a GPS for manufacturing. It keeps you on track, avoids detours, and gets your product safely to market. GMP reduces errors and complaints. GMP improves consistency. GMP builds internal discipline and external credibility. GMP helps pass audits and regulatory inspections. Let's see how to start implementing GMP without breaking the bank. Startups often think GMP means expensive consultants or fancy equipment. Not true. Let's look at practical ways you can implement GMP affordably. First and foremost, establish a robust quality management system, QMS, create SOPs for all critical activities, receiving raw materials, production, cleaning, packaging, assign roles and responsibilities clearly, use batch manufacturing records, even simple printed formats, and conduct internal checks regularly. Let me tell you a simple but a very helpful tip. You can start with Excel sheets or free tools. Just be consistent and thorough. Always maintain a clean and controlled environment. Clean daily and document it. 
create a pest control schedule with the local agency, store raw materials off the ground, label properly, and keep rejected goods separately marked. Always focus on zoning, clean versus dirty areas, airflow, basic exhaust fans or filtered ventilation, and lighting and water quality. Make a system to train your team regularly, teach them the why behind every GMP practice, show videos, conduct mock drills, use posters, emphasize on hygiene, documentation, and alertness. Make every new joinee go through a two-day induction covering GMP principles, factory layout, hygiene rules, and basic documentation. Don't get lost in the regulatory maze. Some of the key regulatory bodies and regulations are India, Schedule M, Pharma, FSSAI, Food, CDSCO, Drugs, International, US FDA 21 CFR Parts 210 and 211, EU GMP Guidelines, WHO GMP, for global markets and NGOs. Even if you're only selling locally, international GMP gives you credibility. Time is changing, quality is becoming paramount. Many distributors now have started asking for WHO GMP compliance even within India. Let's see the resources you can use, WHO website. It has free training modules, manuals, CDSCO and FSSAI portals for updates and compliance tools, YouTube channels like Pharma Health Insights, yes you can get a lot of good stuff here, local pharma associations like IDMA, IPA, FOPE GMP consultants like Pharma Health Insights, offer virtual support packages also. Let's now concentrate on how you can prepare for inspections, create an inspection readiness file, Keep all documents filed, signed, and dated, train your team to stay calm and honest during audits, and do self-inspections at least every six months. Let me give you another pro tip, designate a QA coordinator, even if it's the founder initially, who owns GMP implementation. Make GMP your growth engine. Integrate GMP into your culture, include it in job descriptions and appraisals, Celebrate quality achievements, make quality everyone's responsibility, from operator to owner. Someone once said, culture eats SOPs for breakfast. Without mindset, procedures are just paper. Promote continuous improvement, encourage feedback from your team, what's working? What isn't, analyze deviations and complaints to find root causes, use CAPA, corrective and preventive action tools, review SOPs periodically or whenever a change happens. Let's me give you an example of a startup I personally know. This startup that began with 5 employees and one blender now exports to 11 countries, all because they got GMP right from day one. Startups that ignore GMP often find themselves stuck, facing compliance issues, customer complaints, and growth roadblocks, but startups that embrace GMP, they build brands that last. You don't need to do it all at once. Start small. Start with SOPs. Start with training. But start now. Until next time, this is Rajesh from Pharma Health Insights, helping you build a safer, stronger, and smarter business. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on practical, real-world guidance. Drop your questions in the comments, or share your journey with GMP. Who knows? I might feature your story in a future video.